The second half of the 20th century has brought traffic bottlenecks to nearly every large city in the world. Obviously something must be done quickly, but widening underpasses, conventional flyovers are all vastly expensive and time-consuming. What then can be done? Well, the three men working so late over there are developing the germ of a new idea in road engineering by Major Strologo of the Royal Automobile Club. An idea to lift traffic over bottlenecks by means of a car bridge, prefabricated from standard sections, but capable of adaptation to any site, curved or straight, flat or undulating. As the City of Birmingham's Public Works Committee have a reputation for far-sighted handling of traffic problems, the idea was next discussed with their experts, and after a thorough technical investigation, they accepted our tender for the first car bridge in the world to be erected at a local traffic black spot, Camp Hill Roundabout. With the placing of the contract, things began to move as the drawing office got underway. Preparation and issue of the innumerable detailed drawings required by a project of this unusual kind proceeded apace and the undertaking swung into top gear in the works. production proceeded, this model was completed, scaled to the Camp Hill site, admirably suited to demonstrate the possibilities of this new idea in road engineering, as the ground slopes and there are left and right hand curves of differing radii in the carriageway. To produce the car bridge from standard sections, capable of easy adaptation to this or any other site, posed some interesting technical questions. The H-shaped verticals, for instance, had to allow for ground undulations and permit double-decker buses to pass under the central spans. All the main verticals, therefore, were designed for adjustment. The upper section slides inside the lower box-shaped one to which it is bolted at the required height. Deck sections are all rectangular, prefabricated from five-foot units into standard 20, 30 or 40-foot lengths. They form a straight carriageway. Curves are introduced by tapered infill pieces, designed in several standard widths and bolted to one or both ends of adjacent rectangular sections. Use of the appropriate infill pieces produces a wide range of curves in either direction. The combination of standard components with adjustable subunits enables a car bridge to be dismantled and re-erected elsewhere in only a few days. Meantime, back in Birmingham, on a site half a mile or so from Camp Hill Roundabout, the car bridge has been assembled into its major components. 
The roadway has been coated with a quarter of an inch of special plastic compound. All sections have been numbered for speedy erection and the cranes are there to start loading. It had just struck six on a Friday evening when the first load started off for the roundabout. Thank <laughs> you. 
dawn on a misty autumn Monday. The car bridge has been completed in less than one weekend. The lights are on, only one barrier remains. At eight o'clock, Councillor Dennis Thomas performs the conventional opening ceremony in the presence of Mr. Gadsby, Chairman, and Mr. Bush, Managing Director of the Builders. And the official party drive over this revolutionary new car bridge for the first time. It's a smooth and, in its own way, historic little journey. Only minutes later, the grateful traffic is using the car bridge as if it had been there for years. And the Public Works Committee of the City of Birmingham have solved another of their city's complex traffic problems with outstanding success. This 800-foot-long bridge, with a 20-year life, will cost the ratepayers little more than the cost of the petrol they used to waste here. There must be other cities in the world where a car bridge by license could relieve equally serious congestion with equal economy. 